Here's some of the fun things that I'm going to be packing up today. And then I'm going to try and figure out what else I'm going to do. I have a bunch of ideas of things I want to try and I don't know which one to focus on first. So let's get the orders out first because people have actually paid for those supporting me and the podcast. So let's get those going. Oh shoot, I'm going to have to move this. I was working on some songs last night, but now it's blocking my walkway. So let's move that over. There we go. Berenstein Bears bike lesson. That one's going out today. What else we got? Stroh's glass. I did, so I got this whole lot of, ooh, actually I don't have as many left as I used to. I got this whole lot of like beer mugs and steins and things like that from this house where the person apparently collected them and he had an entire basement full of these things. And I went in and they were all like, just going really cheap so I bought whatever ones I thought were cool and I used to have way more than this now they're next to my cartoon glass collectibles so this is all right let's make sure that I'm not knocking things over here so that's this one yay glassware hate packing glassware love when I sell it though so yep Stroh's glass or Stein or Stemmed beer glass. A schooner, I guess it's called, when they're on that thing right there. I remember I had to look this up to go, what in the world do I actually call that? So that sold. Then we got another one from my books lot. Actually, I have two of the same ones. So I sold this book, but not this particular one, because this one's the one that I have on backup that's in a lot worse shape. So it is Crusader Rabbit in Bubble Trouble. Yeah, I'm saying that right. Bubble Trouble. Ah, there it is right there. I recognize the spine. This one's in much better condition. So Crusader Rabbit, one of the first limited animation cartoons that was on television back in the day when they first started doing those. It was... It was basically just still drawings like this, and then they'd move like one thing, and the rest of it would be them filming like this. Just static images. But the artwork in the book is cool. Part of uh, part of a series from Top Tales, or was it Top Tales? Top Top Tales. Woo! Not to be confused with DuckTales. And that one's from 1960. This one is a game that I remember having, but I couldn't for the life of me tell you how to play it. I feel like it's one of those games where it was around, you played it, and then you were like, well, this, I don't know. I just wasn't into it. There it is. Parcheesi. Of course, it's underneath stuff. Got three of each of these pieces that are essentially little wood pieces. It's got the dice rolling weird cup. Actually, it doesn't even feel like it would make the dice roll. And it's got the game board itself. That's it. Oh, these aren't instructions. Are there no instructions to this game? Ah. The instructions are underneath here. I really wish I could remember how this game was played so I could make sure that I have all the pieces. There's one of these things that I hate to see it leave, but I'm glad that it's going. And I knew it was going to be a difficult one to ship. Mary Joy's actually out trying to find a box for this one right now. But it is a two foot or two foot four inch tall Hagar the Horrible doll from like the 60s. I can't remember what the date was that we got on it exactly. Oh, actually from the 80s. Huh. 1984, it says on the tag. So, it's Hagar the Horrible. We got this from a place in Milwaukee, I believe, like a month or so ago. And it's just big. It's a neat little item, but now that we sold it, it's like, aw, I want to keep that.
vintage Pepsi Cola glass plate. It's just clear glass, but on the back, they've adorned it with, adorned it, wow. Listen to me using words, uh, with this, like it looks like they gessoed or mod podged some sort of decorative paper and made it so that it becomes what shows through on the other side of the glass and it's kind of like a displayed decorative plate. So we bought it for that and the intern that we have uh, ended up actually listing it and it sold. We didn't even mean to actually sell it because we were gonna kind of keep it around the house. I've actually done a few references to this but uh, one of my videos, the Tom Ray's Pop Culture Roadshow is about Golden Records and Peter Pan Records and how they got started and basically uh, the fact that it's it's a person that ran a plastics company and they were trying to find other ways to sell more, diversify what they had. So they started making children's albums. They actually had a, they hired a band. I don't know if they built a recording studio or they'd go in, but they hired the same musicians all the time and they would just do children's records and press them themselves and then distribute it. So they started releasing a series of these and uh, I have the original cover for this and the 45 inside. I don't feel like pulling it out one handed because I don't want to rip it on Facebook Marketplace. I sold this game, the Lizzie McGuire What Would Lizzie Do game from the Disney Channel back in the 90s. So someone bought that. Mary Joy brought back a box that she found for the Hagar the Horrible thing, a uh, doll, I guess it would be. And I think this is the largest thing we've had to ship to date. So let's see what this one weighs. Got the scale ready. Whoa, falling. Four pounds, 13 ounces. And since it was a large doll, it was really easy to pack. We just threw it in a box. I just found out while packing this up, I'm doing the shipping, right? And it turned out to be a pound heavier. And I'm like, yeah, that's fine. It'll be okay. And then I looked at the shipping rate, and the shipping rate is $60. And I'm like, what? And then I went to go print it, and it says international. I was just gonna show you the screen. I can't do that, that's a person's information. This is going to Germany. <laughs> that's that's pretty exciting. Place, it's a, uh, no, technically we had one other item that we sold to Germany. We had those devil head candles. I don't know if I have a picture oh, of them. If I do, I'll put them right here. But uh, we had these devil head candles and it was actually the first international thing I had ever shipped. So the weird now, shit goes international. yeah, the weird stuff goes international. So this one, it's like, cause it was a heavier item and I knew the shipping was more. So people have liked it in the States here. It was expensive internationally. This is pretty much par for the course. Like between 30 to $60 is how much something costs to ship internationally. So this to them was like, yeah, this is just ordering something from America. So that's neat. From America? From America. It looks more impressive because of that giant box that's going to Germany. But I wanted to see where else stuff was going to just because I've done this before. It's just fun to see where we're sending stuff to. So we've got one going to Illinois. Got a book going to Texas. Got a 45 record going to California. Got a board game going to New York. And then I didn't think this through where I was gonna set all these when I was done with them. Got another one, uh, the glass is going to Illinois. Another game is going to California. And then another one to California. And then this is to Germany. So that's where I'm sending stuff in the world today. That's kind of fun to think about. 